how would you re-implement your EDI solution on S4? So I was talking to, to a friend uh, uh, about how do we actually implement these things and what, what to consider when doing an EDI implementation. So um, obviously the, the first thing you're saying when, when you're thinking about EDI, oh, we got these great orders, uh, orders, of four, orders of five, invoice 03, 02, uh, this ADV and all these other documents are just so great they fit with the EDI standard and all application consultants know how to use them there's no really no need to do anything and just start mapping it's just the perfect thing I was like well there has been some changes uh, recently so uh, obviously there was the enterprise services that was really hot uh, at some point in time um, but it was really a hard sell getting uh, consultants to, to deal with them and say, hey, we're using these. I know of, of some people that have been successfully and, and implementing EDI based on these things. Um, and I guess it was in some cases a hard sell. How do we actually ensure that it's easier to implement than using the, the one that we, everybody know and we all know how to extend the invoice as we wanted to. But these guys were doing an S4 implementation and in S4 you got an other implication and that is the S4 cloud version does not even support IDOCs. That means that if you want to, oh, as, as I understand it, there were some, some scenarios but it is not for the purchasing or selling process. So for, for those you need to implement uh, your own solution for it. Um, or yeah, no IDOX for it, only IDOX for some internal scenarios and warehouse uh, thing. But for EDI, there was no scenario. So the only reason, the only thing used was the, the public API that they have uh, now created and released on api.sap.com. And there's actually um, some, uh, some of these that you, when you drill down to, for instance, the purchase order, you can see the full purchase order process. You can see all the different documents or APIs that is used in this process, documentation from it. How do we configure these things? What's really important there? I think it's on, on rapidsap.com, where you can see all of these different content and how they relate to an integration scenario. So I think that is really a, a crucial part of this and, and getting you to a place where it's easy to implement uh, what's going on. So that was, uh, yeah, it's like, well, I would definitely try that out and see if that is something that you can make, uh, how it works and what it can be used for because that seems to be the way things is moving. Uh, obviously, this customer is probably not going to, to S4 Cloud anytime soon. But at least we know the, the direction of, of SAP and that's the, the cloud platform for cloud is for cloud first and then later uh, on-premise. Uh, but that also means that the IDOCs would not change uh, and would most likely be deprecated at some point in time uh, or at least some of these newer functionalities that you want would not be supported. And I think that's really probably the, the key message here. So if you have are doing a new implementation on S4, try to see these APIs if they work, and if not, go for, for the, the old-fashioned uh, IDOC, but at least start first with, with the cloud uh, cloud version because or the API because they are the, the, the future, and I think they will be able to support a lot more, and you're probably able to get more support from SAP to improve these things then another question is this was also do we want to use the b2b add-on or would it even be better to use the the um, integrated content advisor the the new products uh, i haven't seen it yet i don't know how it works i've seen some some slides and presentation on it it looks good and i think in this case it would probably help because they would be able to to map it on a business content level instead of going into details about what it's supposed to work. Let's see uh, how that implementation will work, if it's possible or not. 
uh, but I think that is probably the, the best way if you're doing these things. So my question to you, have you done S4 uh, APIs and, and EDI and how does it work? Is it fully supported or are there anything that you're thinking, well, we should not have done this, we were too, too early and it's peace not thinking about this, so just go with the iDocs, then you know what you have and you know everything would be as it's supposed to. Thanks! If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and uh, click on subscribe so you get uh, updates to future videos. Thank you!